consciously taking that vision down to the heart, to the throat, maybe up to the brow, maybe to the seat for more grounding. Just taking a couple of deep breaths and to noticing any center points that are drawn to you naturally in the body or around the body. And if you haven't already done so, start to direct your breath down into the belly. Think big inhales of the navel drawing out so the chest stays relaxed, the brow stays soft. And that exhale, the last part, belly comes in. Inhale down to the belly, expand out. And exhale out through the nose, belly is drawn in. Observing any texture of the breath. I'm just coming to check on the zoom, keep breathing. Two more, just letting yourself arrive. Maybe your breath has sound, texture. And I'd like to reinvite the intention in from this morning session, this cup of acceptance, drinking from the fountain of your breath drinking from the nourishment of your own attention, your own willingness to be who you are, where you are in transition in this moment. Acceptance of the path that's brought you here, acceptance of the path ahead, the seed of trust, the seed of open curiosity. And wanting to build on that intention of acceptance for this class of just giving ourselves a moment to acknowledge the courage it takes to continue to show up and then a genuine thank you from my heart to you for choosing life choosing to do the work to be present to be compassionate with what comes through we're in this together accepting all the colors all the moods the process itself we'll take about five more deep breaths into that acceptance into that seat of gratitude for choosing yes for saying yes choosing to be here. Room for any other intentions you'd like to set and bring in. Give them to your body. Give them to the world around you. Take a final breath here, fill all the way up to the top together. And then open mouth, release. Maybe a sigh. Take a breath in a moment to switch out your legs if you're sitting with your shins crossed. Other foot comes in front, maybe you readjust your seat. We'll start to inhale, reach the arms all the way up, full breath into the top, shoulders squeeze together, chin lifts, palms can touch. And we'll take a big twist to your right on the exhale and mirror you here, taking that left hand to your right knee, reaching that right arm back behind you, maybe it extends to the space behind you, maybe it grounds down, chin comes back, all the while press into the seat, lift up through the crown, big breaths in and out. Big inhale, listen to the soundtrack of your life, the interconnection of all of it. Take your next breath to come back to the middle, full breath in, chin lifts, palms squeeze, belly strong. Exhale, twisting to your left. Letting that left palm find your front knee, that back arm reaches out or grounds down. 
Feel your shoulders continue to drop and slide back towards each other. Chin looks back. I like to imagine what these rinses look like from the inside, this conscious hug of our organs, the gratitude for the functioning of our body, the miracle of those systems. One more. Breathe in, arms overhead, chin to sky, heart to front. We'll do that breath to movement. Exhale, wide twist to your right. Hands can stay long, maybe they tap down. Just one breath out there. Straight back to the center on your inhalation. Right on over to the left on your exhale. One more each side to the center. Breathe it in. Exhale to the right. Breathing out. Maybe you lace in a half bind. I'll just offer options throughout the hour. Come on back to the center. Last one. Breathe up. Squeeze. Engage. Exhale to your left. Maybe that bind. Come back to the center, breath in. Exhale, hands down beside you on that breath out. We'll take our legs out wide. You can come to a different angle if you want. Wide-legged, forward fold. I'm just starting here, bending our knees, grounding our feet. Hands are gonna come inside your shins, flip palms to face out, thumbs down. Bring the hands inside the shins, right onto the calves, the ankles. Take a breath and lift up through your chest, draw your shoulders back and down. Exhale, round your spine. Think cat cows. Chin to chest, like you could touch the back of the space with the back of your heart. Two of those. Press into your hands. Gently draw the heart up. Breathe in, either wide. Exhale, round your spine. Breath out. Last one with your breath. Inhale, rise the heart. Exhale, scoop. Come on back to neutral on your inhalation. Start to take your palms underneath your calf to the outer edge of your right ankle. So the thumbs are pointing up now from the outside. And we'll start to walk our hands slowly down to the feet and we'll round our spine here for a few breaths. You can extend your arms instead if you wanna ground your palms. Maybe you interlace your fingertips with your toe tips. Keeping the head relaxed. Let the belly soften. Maybe a good space for a sigh. Last one. Unwrap your hands. Bring the palms right in front of you. Curl your spine up. That is the last thing to rise. We'll start to take our peace sign fingers right around our big toes. Couple breaths here, inching our heels forward, keeping our spine long. Inching our heels forward, keeping our spine long. The exhale, inching our heels forward. The inhale, readjust, lengthens that spine. Your knees might stay bent this entire time. Maybe your heels stretch out longer and you find more of a fold. If you'd like to focus more on your neck, you can keep your spine long, but drop your chin back to your chest and little half sways of ear side to side. You're always welcome to meet the body where it's at. You can add on variations. Maybe you take steps out with your breath. Even with that spine long, gaze can be down right between your heels. Maybe they're closed. Two more. Last one. Great, take an inhale, start to lift your spine, draw your palms back all the way behind you, fingertips point forward. We're gonna bend our knees, ground our feet about hips width distance. And we'll start with our heart, just lifting up through the chest. You can bend in through your elbows too. I'm gonna turn my body so there's an angle that you can see. You can stay right where you are if you feel like you're at the center. Really light on the fingertips, bend your elbows, start to draw your elbows together, heart lifts. Think of the head like a turtle, bringing it out of the shell. Option to stay here, hips stay grounded. If it feels right, maybe reverse tabletop, pressing into heels and palms, lifting up through the chest, rather than mind mindlessly dropping the head back. See if you can find an extension of the head out through the heart. Maybe you readjust your feet, 
Maybe you lift and claw down through the toes. Pressing firmly into the palms, take one more breath in. Exhale, sit the hips down on that breath out. Twice breath to movement, lifting through your heart, maybe lifting through your hips, big breath in. Exhale, grounding down, breath out. Inhale, rising. Exhale, releasing. Take the legs out to the side, we'll meet in a tabletop position. Hands and knees, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Several movements here, however you want. You can make circles with your shoulders. Maybe you roll around, chin to chest, or lift your ankles and roll the feet around. If you would like a moment in child's pose, knees wide, hips to heels, big toes touching, just relaxing arms forward and forehead down. It's always a nice home base, a moment of rest. We'll take a few more breaths here. If you want to have tender wrists, maybe you want to flip the palms to face up, backs of your hands come down. You can bend your elbows there for more support. Maybe you straighten out the arms a bit. Eventually taking a breath at least in stillness. Just observing. We'll return our palms down. We'll tuck under our toes. We'll come to a hovering tabletop, spreading out the toes, scooping the hips towards the ribs. Think this small little curve in the back of your heart. Knees start to float about a shin off the mat. You can knead out your toes. Maybe you rock your hips side to side, a deeper rinsing of your spine. Gaze is down, active through those base knuckles. Take a breath in. Full breath out. You can hover the shins even lower, imagining like you're squeezing a block. Keep your toes right there. Just pike your hips, shoulders above your wrists. Take a breath in, straighten your legs. Exhale, hovering the knees. Two of those, hips lift, inhale. Exhale, hover. On your next breath in, lift the hips. Walk the feet forward on your breath out. We'll meet, shifting our body weight to our feet. Forward fold, arms hang down, maybe they find the opposite elbow. I'm going to switch back to the direction of the camera so you can see. Head is relaxed. Feet can be as wide as you'd like. Maybe your arms are beside you. You can take hands overhead or behind your neck. A couple of breaths here. I always like to observe the base of the feet, how each toe tip is grounded, keeping your chest relaxed, fold it over. Notice your arches, maybe you imagine your roots. One more breath, in and out. Gently start to release your hands under your heart, heel toe your feet in together. Soft bend into your knees. Halfway lift, inhale, arms are gonna reach back behind us, airplane wings. I'm gonna switch the angle again here so you can see fingertips right in line with the shoulders. The triceps are on, the fingers are spread out, my belly is drawn in, the heart is open to the ground, toes are light. One inhale here. Moving just your arms, reach them forward on that breath out. Pause here for a moment, squeeze that invisible block between your hands. Biceps frame the ears, maybe you lift up off your heels, playing with a bit of balance on the balls of the feet. Breath stays full, can you feel it in the back of the ribs, the sides, open out. One more inhale. Stay here for that exhale. Ground your heels, airplane wings back behind you. Breath in, maybe just your fingertips touch. Breath to movement, exhale, hands come forward. Maybe palms squeeze, maybe heels lift. Gaze is down, neck is smooth. Two more, inhale, ground your heels, fly your wings back, press the palms, the fingertips together. Reach them forward on that breath out. Last one, inhale. Reach them forward, exhale. Come all the way up to stand, extended mountain pose Tadasana. Press into your roots, lift up through your chest, take a breath in. Pause here on your breath out. Draw your shoulders down, hug your hips up to your ribs. Lighten your toes. Final inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. A moment to pause, to feel. Maybe to sigh. 
We'll inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Steeple mudra at the top. Interlace your palms, index fingers free. Exhale, side stretch over to your right. Breath out. Notice how that bottom arm might want to bend. See if you can straighten out your elbows. Draw that top shoulder back. You have the option to stay here. Maybe you take that foot back behind you. Maybe you take that foot out to the side. Feel free to keep both feet grounded. Come on back up to the center. Feet grounded, arch touches. Exhale right on over to your left. Just noticing first the elbows, starting from the branches, rooting them down. The top shoulder draws back, your belly's in. Observing the weight on your feet. Maybe that right foot comes back behind you. A longer crescent curve. Maybe the foot balances out to the side, hovering or on the toe. Notice your breath. Ground your feet. Come on back to the center. Take a breath in. Exhale. Come all the way forward. Breath out. Right foot's going to step back. We're going to start with a low lunge on our left. Grounding through that back foot, come on down to a warrior one. So that back right foot's at an angle to the front right corner of your space. We're going to come on up. Maybe your hands walk up your legs or come onto your hips. You can scoop the hips gently forward. Take your time. Eventually, arms reach up overhead. Light onto your toes. Maybe you gaze down and see them. If this doesn't feel good, or if you prefer to come down to supported crescent, you're welcome to adjust onto your back toe and come on down to that back knee. It's always an option. Either way, we're going to come back to that steeple mudra, interlace your hands again, take a breath in, squeeze elbows to ears. Exhale, reach on over to your left. Take a breath in. Exhale, reach on over to the front. This long diagonal stance from heel to fingertips. Take a breath here, pause. Moving a quarter at a time, exhale to your right. Pause here, inhale. Exhale, right back to the center, or maybe a slight back bend. Stay here on your breath in. Full circle, one breath. Exhale, reach it forward. Inhale to the right. Couple times breath to movement. Exhale to the left, to the front. Inhale to the right, to the back. Last one, exhale to the left, to the front. Inhale to the right, to the back. Exhale, ground your hands, low lunge. Adjust your back foot, heel above your toes. High plank on that inhale, left foot comes back to meet your right. Come on down to your knees. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Elbows plug in, gaze is down. Think chaturanga wings, squeeze them beside you. We're gonna come out with our wide arms. Touch your fingertips off your mat. Let your elbows lift up. Tops of your feet press down. Take a breath in to lift up through your chest. Your quads are on, your heels hug together. Notice your elbows might be back. Maybe you draw them forward. Maybe you take a couple dips side to side. You can match those with your breath or just observe how your breath supports it. One more inhale to the center. Exhale, lower yourself down. Tap your forehead to the mat. Two of those. Inhale, lift up, wide arm cobra, tops of your feet press down. Exhale, relax your chest, forehead kisses the earth. Elbows stay tall the whole time. Last one, breathe it up. Exhale, relax it down. Bring your elbows in, hands come underneath your shoulders. Baby cobra pose, tops of your feet, press down, lift up through your chest, take a breath here. Feel your wings hover back, feel your head lift forward. If you're ready for more, maybe you slide hands down to the ribs. You can press into your palms, start to come on up. This is a hybrid between our cobra and our upward facing dog. If you feel ready for upward facing dog, you can press into your palms, the tops of your feet. Draw the shoulders back, squeeze the sides, belly continues to draw in. Last breath here together. Exhale, come all the way back down. Tuck under your toes, high plank, take a breath in. Maybe you use your knees. Walk your hands, your feet rather, to your hands. Exhale, forward fold at the top. Feet zip up together, inhale, halfway lift, hands behind you. 
Just the arms move, exhale, reach them forward. Feel your breath rise up. Inhale, crescent, extended mountain pose, rather full breath in. Exhale to your left, steeple mudra, half moon. Maybe that right foot comes on over. Right back to the center, breathe in. Half moon to your right, exhale. Maybe your left foot slides out to the side or behind you. Inhale to center. Right back to our fold on that exhale. Right foot's going to stay there. Left foot steps back, low lunge. You have the option to come down to that knee. Warrior one takes the arch to the mat at an angle, heel to heel or wider. Palms walk up, maybe they sweep up. Take your time, adjust the hips, let the shoulders draw back. We can see our big front right toe, arms sweep up when you're ready. Reground those shoulders on that breath out. Interlace your hands, index is free, return to that steeple mudra. Take a preparatory inhale, maybe chin rises. And exhale to your right, breath out. Pause here. Quarter by quarter, exhale, take it forward. Shoulders ground and square. Inhale, extend your fingers, squeeze biceps to ears. That exhale takes it to your left. Pause here for that breath in. Let your left shoulder hover forward, gaze up. Exhale, breathe it out. Inhale right behind us, back to the center. Exhale straight on into that breath to movement. Reach it to the right, to the front. Breathe it out. Take that fresh inhale to your left, to the sky, inhaling, full circle. Exhale to the right, to the front. Maybe you're on your knee, inhale to the left, to the back. One more full loop, exhale to the right, to the front. Elbows straight, inhale back to the left, to the, to the back, heart lifts. Exhale, release down, low lunge. Come onto the ball of that left foot. Right foot steps back. Take a breath in, high plank. Maybe it's your first full chaturanga. You can use your knees. Exhale, lower halfway down, maybe all the way down. Heart scoops forward, thighs hug together. Upward facing dog or a hybrid expression of it, maybe baby cobra. Meet in our first downward facing dog. Exhale, lift your hips, roll over the toes. Spread out the feet about hips with distance, like you could imagine two fists right between them. You can sway around. Maybe you can land and enjoy the stillness, observe, gain the information from there. Big breath in. Lean into that breath out. There's a soft bend in your elbows. You're rolling the eye of the elbow in towards each other, pressing into your hands, like your chest could come closer to your thighs. Take one more inhale. Take a full exhale. Right leg lifts, inhale, three-legged dog. One breath up, left heel stays heavy. Exhale, step it right through, low lunge on your breath out. See if you can ground heel and then toe. Back heel to the mat or back knee, warrior one or supported crescent. Rise up on your inhale, steeple mudra. One circle, exhale to the right, to the front. Inhale to the left, to the sky, full breath in. Exhale, ground your hands, breath out. Step up, halfway lift. Take an inhale, hands behind you, ground your feet. We're rewinding it. Exhale, hands forward, breath out. Inhale, rise up. Straight back to a fold. Exhale, skipping our half moons, breath out. Right foot steps back, inhale. Left foot steps back, exhale. Work with your breath, shift forward, high plank, inhale. Feel the power of your patience, chaturanga or downward facing dog on that exhale. Just your body to match your breath. Long inhale opens the heart. Downward facing dog on your breath out. Left leg lifts, one inhale. Right heel stays heavy, squeeze your glute, find the extension. Step it through, quietly grounding, exhale, heel and then toe. Maybe your knee, maybe your back foot at an angle, warrior one, or supported crescent. Inhale, sweep up, steeple mudra. Starting on our left, exhale, big circle, just one. Reach it forward, a fresh inhale takes us to the right, to the sky, breathe it up. 
Exhale, release. Ground your palms, shift your back heel. Step up, lift up. Inhale, halfway lift. Ground your feet, fly your wings. Reach your hands forward, breath out. Come all the way up to stand, extended mountain. Maybe a back bend. Sweep it right back down on your exhale, forward fold. Left foot steps back, inhale. Right foot steps back, exhale. One full strong inhale into your plank. Maybe chaturanga, maybe downward facing dog. If you're moving through chaturanga, open heart, squeeze the thighs. Downward facing dog on the exhale. We'll move it through it once more, starting on our left. Inhale, left heel lifts. Exhale, left foot steps through. Back knee or back heel, warrior one, supported crescent, inhale. Steeple mudra, exhale to the left, to the front. Inhale to the right, to the sky. Exhale, ground your palms, shift your back heel. Step up, lift up, inhale, halfway lift. Hands fly forward, exhale. Long spine, press into the earth, rise up, inhale. Right into your fold on your exhale. Inhale, left foot steps back. Inhale, right foot steps back. Maybe it hovers, ekapada. Pause, breathe in. Choose chaturanga or down dog, breathing out. One big inhale. A full exhale. One more side, right heel lifts, breathe up. Right foot through, breathe out. Back knee, back heel down, warrior one, supported crescent, final one, breathe it up. Steeple mudra, exhale, take it to the right, to the front. A fresh inhale scoops you to the left, to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, ground your palms, shift your back heel. Inhale, step up, lift up halfway, breath in. Final one, sweep that energy behind you to get forward, breath out. This merging of past and future to right here. Rise up into the present, breath in, open heart. Right back down, exhale, forward fold. Start with the right foot, inhale, low lunge, step back. Exhale, high plank. Maybe a kapata, breath in to refine. And breath out to choose chaturanga or down dog. An inhale to an open heart. And exhale to our downward facing dog. Take a breath in. We're gonna take five breaths here. You're welcome to come down to your knees, child's pose. If you want to keep your hips lifted, but your wrists need a moment, dolphin pose brings our forearms down. Shoulder width distance, you can still walk your hips higher. You can relax your head here, press into your forearms. Three more breaths, however you need. Maybe a seat. Maybe a sigh. Last one. Come on up to tabletop position. Give our wrists a moment. Backs of our hands come down to the mat again. Bending our elbows. Rolling our arms up. Bending our elbows. Inhaling. Rolling out on the exhale. Think cat cow. Three of them. Bend our elbows out. Breathe in. Chest down. Exhale, round it out. Last one, breathe in. Exhale, breathe it out. Come on to the center, reground your palms. We're gonna come back to that hovering tabletop, tucking under our toes, lifting under, lifting up off of our shins. We're gonna keep that left shin hovering. You're welcome to reground it. Right ankle stays with that right knee. Heel lifts up, take a breath in. Exhale, pause here, take your big toe to point in. One more breath, feel your glute press into the ceiling. Exhale, step it straight through, low lunge. So now we're in a double lunge. Hands come straight up to heart. Take an inhale, 
Feel that double lunge, refine, scoop your hips forward, really strong front thigh, really long, strong front left leg too. Take a breath in, squeeze your hands, your chest. Take a twist to your right breath out. Right back to the middle, inhale. Right on over to your right, exhale. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. We're gonna pause on the right here. You stay there, I'm just gonna switch directions so we can see each other a little better. Right foot's forward, hands are on our heart, we're in our twist. We still have that double lunge, we're gonna start to straighten that back leg out. And you can stay here, maybe you start to extend your arms like we did in that seat. You can take your left hand and find the edge of your thigh. You can decide to come on down to your back knee, maybe those toes untuck. If you prefer to keep that double lunge, it's yours. Gaze can come back. Notice that right thumb giving you a sign of encouragement. Thumbs up, we got this. Option to layer on Exalted Warrior, reaching that left hand up. Right hand can slide down your back thigh. Maybe it comes into a half bind. If you're on that back knee, maybe it reaches to your back heel. Up to you if you want your gaze down to the earth behind you or up to that left palm. Even though you're not directly looking at that right thigh, maybe you take a moment to check in. You can see your big right toes still. That ankle's right underneath your knee. One more breath in. We're going to come into prayer twist on that breath out. Our left elbow starts to come down into that left outer. That left elbow comes to our right thigh. And maybe it doesn't come all the way if that means that we're rounding our spine. We can pause where we find the extension of the heart. If we're off our heel, our heel is tall. Hands come back to the chest here. So maybe we press our hands here and lengthen. You can also ground that left forearm in, that left tricep rather. You can take your right thumb and index finger as into that right hip flexor as a way to slide further down, get a little bit more leverage if you're looking for that. Option to fly your wings if you want. Maybe you play with half or full binds. That knee is there at any point. Couple moments here. Last breath in. We're all gonna meet. Exhale, low lunge. Unravel your spine, frame that front foot. Come on down to your left knee if you're not already. Walk it forward so it's underneath your left knee. We're going to move this to supported side plank. Our right foot extends back. Our left heel lifts and shifts off our mat. Right leg might stay floating, maybe it grounds. Check out your left wrist in line with your left knee and your right arch. That right arm's going to lift up, maybe over. This is a great space for a block or books underneath that left hand. Also a good opportunity to stretch out your right quad if it's feeling like it needs some time. Heel can hover up, maybe your back hand reaches to the foot. Try and find space into the heart. Maybe you gaze up and over that right shoulder still. I'm stretching it out for this round. You can play with other variations. Maybe your back toes bend and ground onto that back heel. Opening out your knees, opening up your chest. You can take a figure four, that right ankle crossing in front of your left thigh, maybe your toes ground. You can drop that left ear. All just options, plenty of time to feel it out. When you're ready, we're going to meet back into our supported side plank. Take a breath in. Exhale, three-legged tabletop. Ground your palms. Invite that right leg to float. Ground your toes, inhale, three-legged dog. Left heel lifts up to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Maybe we shift forward and move through a chaturanga if we're looking for it. Maybe we take a couple deep breaths here. As you need, one more breath in. Full breath out. Staying there, inhale, left heel reaches to the sky. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Just kidding, come on back, three-legged dog. Downward facing dog. Roll it forward, high plank. Come on down to the knees, breath out, tabletop. One more wrist stretch, this time hands stay grounded. Rotate fingertips back to your knees. Thumbs point out to the sides, left and right. 
Maybe you only take your fingertips out left and right rather than all the way back to your thighs. You have a couple options here. You can bend just your elbows. You could also keep arms straight and draw hips back. Maybe you do a combination of both or add in some movements of your hips, of your spine. Come on back to the center. Return fingertips forward. We're going to come back to our third and final hovering tabletop. Toes tuck under. Scoop hips to ribs. Shins off the mat. Press into those big base knuckles. Let your right shin stay hovering. Maybe it's grounded. Keep that angle of your left heel. Lift your foot up. Breathe it in. Pause here. Point your big toe into your right foot on that breath out. Press into your hands. Take one more inhale. Squeeze your glute. Lift your heel. Step it through on your exhale. Low lunge. We're in a double lunge. That right knee is going to stay low. Hands come up to your heart. Take a breath in. A moment to pause, readjust your hips, scooping up towards the ribs, hearts lifted, chest is on, hands together. Big inhale, twisting to your left on your exhale. Inhale back to center. Right onto your left, exhale. That back knee can be down anytime. One more. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Pause here. If you're off your knee, take some time, start to stretch it out long. Maybe you wiggle it back. Maybe you find an in-between that feels right to you. Each side's gonna be different. It's a new adventure. Every breath, start to open up your arms if you'd like. Maybe you take your gaze back. You can ground that right hand into the outer thigh if you'd like, rolling the chest open. You can add in your vines that feel good. Option for that exalted warrior, extending that right hand up and over. Maybe left hand comes down, wraps around. You could find your back leg or your back knee, your back heel. Choosing your gaze, drawing it down to left shoulder, maybe reaching it up to right palm. Your choice, one more inhale. Coming into a prayer twist on your exhale. Start to bend your right elbow to the outer edge of your left thigh. Hands come to the heart. Notice here my chest isn't on. Start to press into your hands. Let your elbows come together. You can come on or off that back knee at any point. Maybe you readjust and pause halfway just so you can find that extension from your heel all the way up through your crown. Take a breath in. Exhale. Hinge. Find that edge that feels right for you today. Maybe your left index finger and thumb come into your hip to help slide that right shoulder to the edge of your left thigh. Option to fly those arms, to find your binds. Choosing your gaze. Feeling the strength of that front thigh. We're about to stretch it out. Last inhale. Unravel, mindfully, low lunge, exhale. Come on down to your right knee if you're not already. Scoot it up so your right knee is right underneath your right hip. Untuck your toes, left heel sweeps back, three-legged tabletop. Supported side plank, exhale, right shin lifts and pivots off to the right. That left hand starts to rise up. You can keep your left foot floating the whole time. Maybe you ground it first, readjust right wrist in line with knee and arch. Left hand might reach up. Maybe it reaches over. Several moments here. If that wrist wants a break, your right fist might feel good. Maybe you move back into that quad extension. Maybe you move back into that toe to heel expression or that figure four expression. Staying strong with your breath. Where can your intention be alive in this moment? When you're ready, we'll take our left foot back behind us. A final breath in as you please. Exhale, three-legged tabletop. Ground your palms. Right shin extends behind us. Left leg is still floating. Squeeze into that glute. Ground your toes. Knees off the mat. Three-legged dog with your right foot. One breath up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath out. Take an inhale through your nose. 
and open mouth exhale. One more, breathe in. Open mouth exhale. We're gonna move through that once breath to movement. Right leg lifts, breath in. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Crescent warrior, take a breath in. Maybe you're on your knee. Wide twist to your right, breath out. Inhale, exalted your warrior or extend into your twist, breathe up. Exhale, prayer twist, breathe out. Here for one inhalation. Exhale, low lunge, breath out. Skipping our side plank, straight to high plank. Inhale, maybe a kapata. Exhale, chaturanga. Take your time, breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, full breath out. One side left, inhale, left heel lifts. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. But underneath, crescent warrior, rise yourself up, inner thighs hug, maybe back knees there. Wide twist to your left, full breath out. Back heel is high, inhale, option to exalt, or keep your twist, extend it, one breath in. Exhale, prayer twist on that breath out, elbow to thigh, hands to heart. Here for that inhale, it's okay if it's not even touching, find that length. Exhale, unravel it, low lunge. High plank, maybe a kapata, one breath in. Chaturanga on that breath out. Add on what you'd like, take off what's not necessary, full breath in, upward facing dog. Full breath out, use your core, downward facing dog. We're gonna take the next 10 breaths to do anything that you need. We're about to transition it down to the slower portion of our practice. Check out your energy level. If you're wanting to express something or explore something, now is a great time. I always encourage the thinking body to become secondary here. Use the wisdom of your physical body to show you what you need, when you need it. Big breaths in and out. However they need to sound. We'll take five more breaths, however you'd like. Eventually we'll meet in a child's pose. Last two breaths, listen to the sounds, the sensations from the fountain of right here. No need to worry about the past or the future. Our power comes from this moment, from being fully in and with ourselves together. And if you're not already, we'll all meet in child's pose just for a final three breaths of full stillness. If you prefer embryo pose, you're welcome to hug knees together, arms behind you instead. Last two. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed. We're gonna transition down to our backs. Come on up to a seat, find the middle of your mat, lie on down. And if it feels okay in your spine, we're gonna to come to plow pose halasana. Once the shoulders are grounded, chin stays right at the center of the chest with the back of the head relax. Press into your forearms that are down beside you, hips lift up and over the shoulders, toes reach back. Your hands can stay grounded, they can move to your back, maybe they interlace. If that doesn't feel good to you today, I recommend legs up the wall right where you are. Maybe a happy baby feels nice to you, knees wide, palms to arches. Just a few breaths here, however you'd like. If you're in your plow pose, 
Take as many moments as you want there. Your body will really tell you if that feels great or if maybe it's time to come out. This beautiful time that you're carving out to get more in tune with your body, more in sync with the harmony of mind, body, breath, soul. Three more breaths. Last one. When you're ready, we'll slowly roll onto our flat back if we're not already. Knees into the chest. We're going to find a gentle twist. Arms open out wide. Take your time if you need to do something else first. I like to press my left foot down first and slide that left hip more to the middle, taking both knees back up and off to the side. Gentle supine twist. You might readjust your shoulders. Maybe you shift your gaze. If you prefer any other variation here, you could cross your legs, you could straighten out that top leg. Maybe your left leg is straight down, it's just the right knee that's crossing over. You could use your pillow underneath or between your thighs. Several breaths here, just starting to shift to letting the shapes hold you more than your engagement of trying to hold the shape. Our final rinse for our practice. Clearing room for the new to come in. Clearing room for our ability to feel the fullness of what's here. One more breath. Feel free to flip your palms, press them down, lift your knees back to the center on your inhale, and just ground your feet for a moment on that exhale. You can readjust, maybe your arms come up overhead, you can take a full body stretch if you want, big breath in, full breath out. Our other side, hands come wide, knees come up to your chest. Maybe you take your right foot down, just enough to press down, slide that right hip over, Knees draw back in and drop over to the right. Whole new side. Maybe your cushions are needed. Maybe a different expression of your legs takes place. Notice your gaze. Where can you let yourself be held here? Can you identify those big belly breaths? This conscious bridge into our life force. Last one. No rush, all the time that you'd like, unravel. Bring yourself back to the center when it's correct. Another moment to ground right at the center. Option for a toppling bridge. Knees come together, feet come wide. Maybe you take a windshield wiper sway there. Getting ready for our Shavasana. You're welcome to do anything else that feels good to you. Maybe a few breaths and butterfly, Supta Baddha Konasana. You could play around with bridge. Maybe you come straight into that five-pointed star, a full surrender, deep relaxation. And if you're keen to find a seat instead for your Shavasana, you're always welcome to do that. Taking big breaths in and out. Breaths of surrender. Breaths of ease. I'm just coming to sit closer to you on the camera. I'm just taking these final moments to remember your intention to feel your intention in the full body, 
each cell vibrating with acceptance, with acknowledgement of choosing to be here, choosing to receive your life as it is, to discover what's waiting to come through, to embrace what's already here. Any last clearing breaths you need. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing life. Thank you for being here. Thank you for not giving up the fight. New life ahead. Thank you for all you'll bring. 2020 vision ahead. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing life. Thank you for being here. Thank you for not giving up the fight. Thank you, life, for all you'll bring. We flow forward effortlessly. 2020 vision ahead. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. I'm going to leave you here on your backs. Please take as long as of Shavasana as you'd like and need. It is always such an honor and pleasure to be in the same space as you, to be uplifting the collective, to be shining light on our individual processes and paths so interconnected. May we move our acceptance into real time, real form, to the actions, the conversations that we choose. Thank you for being here. So much love. Namaste.